the start of a machine learning project, a lot of people want to jump right in and get their hands on the keyboard and start writing code. But even before writing one line of code, it's important to take a step back and think about the problem you're trying to solve more conceptually. You need to think, how can I teach a computer to see the way humans do? A machine can only learn from what you teach it, which is why properly labeled data is very important, and having a solid data annotation strategy is one of the first things you should be thinking about. At CrowdAI, I work closely every day with customers to create data annotation strategies. So today I wanted to share four industry secrets to labeling data for machine learning. The first is label everything, every single thing. You've probably heard the saying, garbage in, garbage out. Well, that is definitely true for machine learning. If we label objects in some of the images, but not others, we're providing an inconsistent data set which will create confusion when the model tries to learn. The second thing is precision is key, so zoom in. We have to teach the machine which pixels are important and which ones are not. Therefore, investing the time, zooming in and drawing a bounding box or a polygon mask as precisely as possible around an object will ensure that the machine is learning exactly what to look for. The third thing is be careful with occluded objects. Occluded objects are objects that are not fully in view. Imagine a boat that's partway under a bridge. A big question is, how should we annotate something like this? Whether or not to annotate occluded objects or not depends on what you want the model output to look like. So ask yourself, what are the goals of the model? The final thing is follow instructions to the T. You need a lot of data for machine learning. And usually this data is labeled by many people. Instructions provide a standard for what should and should not be labeled, so ensuring your instructions are clear and everyone's following them will provide consistency in the labeled data. There you have it, short but important guide to proper annotation. It may seem like common sense, but it takes a lot of work to label data properly and the success of your models riding on it. Thanks for watching.